So here we go, the Cheeky Scousers back again, and we've got a nice Ripley AR5S in the box. I'll be taking it out shortly, doing a quick pellet test. Well, I want not, not so much of a pellet test, but a grouping test using JSB Expressors. So let's set the thing up and uh, be show you what the rifle looks like in, in a minute. Do the usual, uh, thanks to Atherton and uh, thanks to Four Card Keith for lending me his rifle. So let's get the set up and uh, see what it looks like, eh? Right then, welcome back, points of aim. And we've got a nice Ripley AR5S. And we're going to shoot some pellets down there at the 30 yards range and the pellets we're shooting today. The chap, Mr. Keith Forcard. Forcard Keith has given me the J JSB Express to shoot through the rifle. He thinks they're the best pellets for it. I'm going to try some Air Arm Diablos, both 452s. That's a 787 seven grain, 84 grain. And I've got some super duper little polymag shorts. 8 grain, well, 8.02. So, you wouldn't generally shoot them down that, but just for the fun of it, 30 yards, let's see how we go. Um, and let's see what happens. JSB Express, Air Arms, Diablos, or Polymag shorts. You never ever know. So the nice rip, AR5S, 30 yards. Let's get shooting. So the cars on the right with the four targets, I'll use them to um, zero the pellets in before they actually shoot the grouping on the left. So, Top middle. Just about work it out. JX, JSB Express. And I'll do a, a five shot group. So let's see how we go. So, thanks to Athen and all range as usual. And thank you to. Thanks to Four Card Keith for lending me his rifle. And this has got um, a Fox Scope 10 to 40 by 50 and the very, very fine crosshairs. So I'll do a point of aim, make a yellow spot, and shoot the other four at that. number Slightly pulled that. Tell it because the rest have gone through the other hole. Well, that's the JSB Express. I am wobbling a bit because we've got a bench rest, bench rest flat rifle in a brown bag, but not bad grouping. So next batch up. So second lot of pellets, air arms, four five two, eight four grains, bottom right corner, five shots. 
I've leaded them in um, on the test cars on the right. Um, hmm, well, you'll see for yourself in a minute. Let's see what happens with the grouping. Well, that's roughly what happens with the test shots, so yeah, a bit of a clover leaf. And that's the air arms, it's a bit of a surprise now. Let's go bottom left, the polymag shorts. Knock that with me leg, sorry about that. Let's carry on. Hopefully that will stay in place. Not bad, not great. Um, I am using the, I say, the bag fairly round and the um, the gun's fairly flat. So I'll take the camera off the stand. So here we go. Let's zoom zoom out. Yeah. The rifle f sits flat, say bench rest, and the gun bag, one of them. So, not ideal. So the crosshairs are fairly fine on the uh, scope, it's a Fox, but I'll do the R5 Pence test. Obviously they're all under a 5P, but uh, let's just see how the Ripley shoots anyway. I'll bring the car back now. I mean, I'm uh, going to compare it, hopefully, next week to the FTP 900. So final outcome is the five P's are on Polymags, the Express, uh, what four card Keith give me, and the Air Arms, and we've got under the five pence, but the Air Arms were shooting a bit clover leaf anyway. The Polymag shorts, um, I've got to make an excuse for the gun because I say, the scope on it for me was. Crosshairs were miles too fine for my eyes, but under a 5p, 
not bad grouping, better than the Air Arms and the Express. Apart from that one flyer, um, a couple up and down because me and me slightly leaning on the bag. I'd say it's uh, not the ideal thing for a bench rest, a bag. Um, should be on a decent rest really. A uh, bit of a metal, bit of a grip at the front, make it solid. But there you go, what's the Ripley AR5S? Um, probably one of the best target rifles I've shot to be honest. I know there's a video with the Steyr and the HFT500 but uh, a scope on that suits me. Uh, I think that'll be pretty good and hopefully next week we'll have the Air Arms FTP900 and I'll actually use the same three tins of pellets. So hope it's not too boring and um, hopefully catch you next week.